trying to do a quick bend it or send it here today. I've got this pretty sweet case that uh, must have held some sort of uh, learning uh, materials. <laughs> anyway, so um, I think it's neat. I want to do something, I think, like this, where it sits this way and you've got a number of like talking toys at your disposal that you can get to glitch out and maybe choose from. I've got this, which I don't think is really, well, it's, it differs from the other two. Let's run them down. These are CNC and say story makers. There's one more that's similar to these, but I think these are the three iterations that I've found with this like mold, uh, this body type. We've got one that's Winnie the Pooh. So I was just going through these. This works, but the battery compartment's shot. Uh, what's odd about this one is that you can see on this circuit board, there's sort of like some empty area. So there's a number of perforations there in the board you can see next to the uh, that chip that's there. And if you look at its buddies, there's, there's a spot there uh, dedicated to a crystal. See that blue guy? And that, and there's a couple capacitors next to it. I mean, if you're looking at this video, you probably know what a crystal is. I'm only vaguely familiar with what it does. I know what it does more conceptually in that it sets the rate at which this thing is clocked. And uh, screwing with it often produces um, some sort of glitch reaction uh, with talking to it. Not always. It's not a guarantee, but uh, it's a frequent and easy way to often get like kind of a glitch going. So let's let's see if we can try that. Oh, I should show you what this toy looks like. So the ones with the green bookworm there, I'm always drawn to the green worm for whatever reason. You can make like 3,000 some stories, whatever five to the fifth is. I tried to figure it out and I got tired after five to the fourth. Okay, so, um, Uh, there's surprise sentences, which is like a random sentence that's out of its word bank over here. It uses one from each. And then you can program it by scrolling through each of the selections. So, you know, get, you know, sentence like, Mom kissed a fat worm on the grass. You know, wholesome stuff like that. As you saw in the intro, a cat eating backwards sounds about the same as it does forwards surprisingly but i guess maybe not one of reed gazala's or no is it it's nick collins's book is uh one of his rules is to play it backwards you know so that's the story of the intros on these okay so back to this uh let's get a, a sentence the turkey sat on a funny <laughs> Okay, that's playback, so we want surprise as the red button. The turkey kissed a barking woke, woke goat on the chair. It has to the play through saw all the way. A fat fish in my soup. Mom danced with a funny <laughs> bug in my soup. <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Dad, the dog, my teacher, the elephant, the cat, the turkey. Mom saw, doesn't like... Kissed, sat on, a scary, a goofy, a slimy, <laughs> I think a barking, a fat, worm, goat, oh. monkey, fish, cow, frog, bug, worm, on the grass. Mom sat on a fat worm on the grass. 
All right, so we all know it about your mom. <laughs> anyway. Seriously, though, thanks for watching. <laughs> I know I don't even know your mom. Okay. Mom sat on a fat worm on the grass. The so turkey I'm licking sat sticking on here. <laughs> Goat on the moon. Um, it's kind of tricky because their pins are so small. I'll try my pinky. Pinky's out for, you know, etiquette here. The turkey doesn't like a funny... <laughs> hmm? The cat sat on a fat goat. The cat sat on a fat goat on the moon. This is going to need a reset switch because it locks the up cat periodically. A fat worm in my dune. We sat on, on oh. the moon. The cat is a fat worm in my dune. The cat is a fat worm in my dune. The cat is a fat worm in my dude. The cat is a fat worm in my dude. Not all the time, but I've gotten some the interesting cat results. Is a fat worm in my dude. The cat is a fat. Mm, okay, I'm gonna lock it up here. May have to reset. It seems to be the so I just. For now, we're doing this. I think I'm going to just take these panels out because they're so nicely... Um, just, if you take it apart, you get rid of that plastic book body. I think I can set two of them side by side in the case, maybe have room for a third weird talking device in the middle. Artfully arranged here. Get rid. Uh, I'll probably replace the battery compartment with a store-bought one. Those... That's the only good one is on this one, so uh, I don't know if it's worth me digging it out of the case. Uh, just snip those and put a reset switch in because I got it anyway. All right, so back to this. Let's see. The turkey sat on a funny <laughs> goat on the moon. So it's it's the two, uh, I guess, what, two and three there? No, that's not whatever. Ever. Two and three from this end on the on this side. Not that first one, I don't think. But we'll see. I'm gonna keep probing around. I want to try to get something definitive here. I was able to clip the on. Sat on a funny <laughs> goat. Mm. The turkey sat on a funny <laughs> goat. On we the had a product uh, called the Bending Buddy, which did something like I'm gonna do here. If you get it just so. We're just going to be that. We're touching that leg. And um, I think if I am careful, I can clip to that solder blob right there. Oops. Let's try the other one that's more properly aligned. All right, that's on there. So if I put these next to each other, clipped on the exterior of the case, kind of see there, I can just touch the ends of the clip leads and maybe get a little more reliable lick and stick. Action. So let's try again here. Uh, maybe not. I might have uh, froze it up. Here, let's try try a reset, I suppose. So at a certain point here, maybe I'll just give up and take this out of the case, but I'd like to see if I can get it glitching for you on video now. Maybe if I probe with this one. So maybe it's one and two, actually. All right. Reset. Probably easier if I didn't have this on a pile of other shit.
Oh, boo. What are you fucking doing here? A turkey sat on a funny <laughs> goat on the moon. Dad, get that out of there. All right. Dad saw a fat worm in my spot. Hmm. So we could have like a threshold button uh, with a resistor that to short these, maybe. Uh, but, you know, body contacts are a little more economical, but, you know, you could have both, which is what I've got on my, um, Casio SA2. Oh, did she now? You can see why I like this stupid fucking toy. Alright, um, alright, fucking Winky. Winky is the worm, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think about that. It's so dirty. On the moon. The cat danced with a funny. <laughs> oh my god. The cat sat on a fat. The elephant ate a. There we go. There's something anyway. Not very exciting. Sat on the turkey. The cat. There we go. A fat worm. So it's one and two. Well, so we know this. Let's, um, let's try one more time here. Well, since we know that, that's a little easier to probe as well. Let's try one more time. The cat sat on a fat goat. On hmm? The turkey sat on a funny... Aggravating, but this is kind of circumventing in a nutshell anyway. The turkey sat on make this a, a little funny. less. Oh, come on. Too wet. So maybe a threshold uh, pot is the thing uh, with a button. We could, you the know, there's enough room to yeah, add all this. Goat on the, moon. the cat sat on a fat. Sometimes on the yeah. moon. That's kind of nice. Not really, but get some of these the rhythmic turkey. glitches. <laughs> yes. Great. Could you just not see what I was doing there? It was just this. Turkey sat on a funny goat on the moon. The 
turkey sat on a funny <laughs> the turkey the turkey the turkey <laughs> the, the turkey the turkey sat on a fu the turkey Surprise. The cat is a fat worm in my Well, you get the idea. So let's see if we can do this with the other one as well. Um so as I mentioned previously, this is the only one that has like a battery compartment that's worth a darn. Here's the third iteration of this book toy. So what we're after is to see this thing glitch as well. And it does have a crystal like this one, but unlike the one with Winnie the Pooh. I probed a bit on Winnie the Pooh with mixed, well, not mixed, there was no glitch results. So we'll see how easy we do with the other Winky here, if you know what I mean. One difference between the two of these is that the uh, this one has 470 uh, U-Farad pot going to ground uh, from positive voltage, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, it's not on the other two. But otherwise, they look, the boards look quite similar. Um, there's, I mean, it's a different type, I think. Um, this one reads uh, ZTA 9.6 MT. And what does this one read? 0.5, is it the right side? Oh yeah, okay. CSA, 1.00 MT, 1 and 9.6 MT. Something like 9.5 MT, no, it's 9.6 MT, so they're very close. The, uh, I think the this uh, microchip is labeled 1991 Mattel. This one's 1993, does not have Mattel on it, and it has a Texas Instruments logo on it. So, anyway, um, for in most intents and purposes, it would seem... These are fairly identical. Um, I'm going to hotwire uh, this one. Well, I guess we're just going to, yeah, we're going to hotwire for now. Although I think in, very soon I'm going to clip both of these off and free them from their cases these are awkward and I've got them apart and it would end up with me with a bunch of tiny screws and a lot less plastic. Um, which is a bonus because I got a lot of plastic around here taking up space as you might as well. All right, the lighting's terrible, I know. So this one looks a bit like a cap, but that's our other crystal.
is like a Simon Says sort of thing. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? All right, this one comes off. See if Winky says we don't get we don't get. I can crop, I can clip these. That's that's a bonus. Let's do that. Because this battery compartment's trashed. We don't need that shit in our life. Get the S slack here. Let's see if it still works without that. Uh, Pastor there. All right, we'll hot wire to these leads this time. And uh, failing that, I guess I'll have to uh, add that cap back in. But I have a feeling it's probably just going to work fine without it. I don't know why that's there exactly, but we'll see how we do. Playful scamp. Winky says, stick out your. Oh boy. All right. Let's keep probing a little bit and see what we do. Winky says, turn around once and rub <laughs> your top, then muck. Winky says, reach for the sky once and twist. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that answers that question. So, um, these are probably uh, worth clipping out of here, and I don't think we need that uh, capacitor. We'll take it. But that uh, battery compartment's screwed anyway, so let's just go into that. Okay, so now we've got some garbage to tend to. All right. Um, so this is the Winnie the Pooh one. I mean, we'll take a look at what this thing looks like. Um, Adventures of Pooh <laughs> Story Maker. Sounds like a shit story if you ask me. We're hot wiring again. We've got this, the only good battery compartment out of these three toys. Now let's see if the, what we get here. Pooh, hello, said let's bounce. <laughs> With a speckled pepper lump to the North Pole. He wants to go to the North Pole a lot. One blustery day, Rabbit gave Pooh a surprise birthday party. Pooh was very happy to see his friends and to receive his friend, a speckled pepper lump. In fact, he became so excited that he started to bounce. Oh, oh interesting. Right on top of the pepper lump. What a silly party. So these all have slightly different uh functionality but the same overall uh body form so store although the, even that varies a little bit 
stories. Long oh. ago, who dreamt that he was able to bounce Hello, all the way to the North Pole? And you know, this isn't even... A speckled this pepper isn't uh, oh, Winnie the Pooh's who voice thought? anyway. I must now tell that I sit here and listen. This. And he quickly began to Some bounce lame ass narrator. all the way back home. I don't know, I don't recall this narrator's voice from anything. Who, who said let's bounce with a speckled heffalump to the North Pole? Okay, well... Who, who said let's bounce all right, with a speckled so this is what changes up the sentences. To the North Pole. I guess. Come on. Fly. Whoa. Tigger. Eeyore, this is fun. <laughs> okay, let's let's hear fucking Eeyore again. Okay, so Pooh is in there. Eeyore, this is fun. Oh my god, yes. Dance. Skip. That doesn't Dance. sound very Eeyore. Fly. Dance. Skip. Sure. Lucky. Giant. Delightful. Green. Speckled. Honeypot. <laughs> he skipped that speckled honeypot? Yeah, I think he did. To the moon. Yeah, with that. All right. Eeyore. This is fun. <laughs> said, let's skip with a speckled honeypot to the moon. Hell yeah. Okay, so <laughs> that's the green button, I think. Yeah. All right. Eeyore, this is fun. This is fun. Let's skip. Okay, <laughs> so here's the perforations where we would expect the, the caps and uh, crystal to be, but I don't see them on this one. I don't see anything that looks like a crystal, and there's a shortage of caps that set that usually you see with the crystal that do things. Yes. Eeyore, this is fun. Said, let's, let's try this skip <laughs> with a. All right. Well, let's... Messed it up anyway. Who? Who said? Who? Who said? Let's bounce <laughs> with a speckled cap. Who? 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 Who said? Who? Who said? Let's bounce. Wait, okay, it's one and two. I didn't have luck with this before, but this is, I guess, due diligence and kind of proof. Also, probably the least interesting of the three, if you think about it, at least from my use standpoint, as it's very specific about characters as opposed to being kind of more general. So, yeah, I just don't know about this one. Um, I'm going to maybe fucking forget about it because I got plenty of this shit. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. So, the part of this is also just Let's winnow the pile down a little bit. You know, I, I'm very good at beginning projects uh, and not completing them, but I think part of this is just sussing out some potential candidates, getting rid of some of the excess parts. What I will say is that these uh, go for kind of a pretty penny on eBay if they're in good shape. Uh, the, these two in particular, not so much the Winnie the Pooh one. Um, perhaps that's part of the reason is that they're bendable, but um, I think uh, I don't know. Kids probably or people probably have fond memories of these that are having kids now, so who knows? But uh, anyway, that's that's some stuff I can get rid of. 
shrink down the pile a little bit. Now I'm going to try and see what other things are going to go into this box. some maybe possible candidates for what else might end up in there, but for now, we'll leave it there.